hello friends today in this tutorial i'll be telling you that how to add colorful border to your tables inside jspdf photo table library so you can just see the screenshot of this application so i have written a complete blog post on my website here so basically you will have a simple pdf document and you will be able to add these colorful borders using css properties so this can be of any color yellow color red color black color or green color so i have written a complete blog post on my website here you will see all the source code is given so it's just a simple javascript code is there so let's start building this application from scratch so first of all just make a simple template so here just change the title of js pdf auto table add colorful border to table so i have given the source code in the video description so right here you will find out these two script tags you need to add here this is for js pdf and js pdf auto table simply you need to copy these tags here and simply after the title you need to paste it so after pasting these tags here now you will be able to use the js pdf library so inside the body you will have a simple button generate pdf and you can give it a id of button so now basically when you click this button what will happen so basically you need to write this inside the script section so you can get the reference to the button by using this document or get element by id so we are just providing the id that we have given so after this we can simply add a event listener so when we click this button basically we need to initialize js pdf document so we can use new js pdf and inside this we have a method of uh, auto table which lets you have our uh, insert a table inside the pdf document so here you will provide the columns so first column will be name then we will have age and then we will have the country column and then we will insert the rows by using the body tag so this can be you can give any random value of your choice country so these numeric values need not have to surround this single quotes so put a comma for the second row 24 can so now we have two rows here so now we can save this document so we can simply write here doc dot save output dot pdf so now if you run this application let me see this error so i think we have made a mistake here document get element by id oh sorry this needs to be document dot get element by id so this was just a mistake so let me so now you will see if i press this button output.pdf file will be downloaded so this is your table with the default styling here you have this blue background color so if you want to add a colorful border to this header cell so there is a property you can use inside it put a comma there is a property called as header styles so basically this is an object so here you can provide your line width so this can be any numeric value let's suppose i provide one and the next one is line color so this can be the rgb value so this value is for red color so once again if i run this now it will see it will add a red border color to all the edges to it so you will see that you can change this color to let's suppose black color so this is the black color so now you will see that so if you want to change the 
size of it you can change the line width to let's suppose 4 so now you will see it will have a slight more border to it the radius has changed so in this way guys you can add any sort of colorful border to it you can provide any valid rgb value here so now you will see all the source code is given in the video description you can copy paste the source code and please hit the like button subscribe the channel and i will be seeing you in the next video